Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. Now, um, the uh, previous episodes and the previous series uh, sadly have to be cancelled. <laughs> Mainly due to the fact that, that uh, a number of, of views and views has simply, simply has dropped off the world, so that's uh, it's no longer viable. But um, we did have a, a, a new update. So the region, uh, Saltu, is now available. It's a jungle kind of, kind of a wet kind of region. It's a temperate, um, temperate mountains area with large meadows. Oh, sorry, that's the, that's the wrong one. This one here. <laughs> Tropical region covered with dense jungle, swamps, region, rivers, and hot beaches. So this puppy is kind of difficult. So it has a lot of, uh, a lot of challenges that we're going to go through. We are also going to just change the type of uh, gameplay to very hard because that's what we need. And muscle bag, yeah, sure, why not? Game rules. Now, this is what I wanted to change. So last time around, we had um, we just selected our own survivors, and this time around, I'm just going to go for a random set of survivors. So we get uh, a nice, good randomization, um, and then we can see the game rules is just one. That's the one. So crash landing. I also want to trade trading outposts. So trading outposts is a little bit different from the military and from the crash landing. Uh, it just it requires it centers around having a large um, outpost large grouping large large camp and then just expanding out on that case and then making a lot of money um, probably close to a million bucks so you can buy, buy the planets and that yeah <laughs> anyways last time i played it was uh, a while ago the reason why we're doing this now and getting back to uh, strand early and dawn was because uh, a couple of the new games that we're going to be playing um, are not completely stable yet so we're waiting for that until that is, so Sunken, uh, Sunken Lands is going to be up and about, I think, pretty soon. Uh, we that's That seems reasonably stable. I haven't played it completely, but so far the amount of hours I have put into it seems to be that the game is reasonably stable enough to create a series around it. So anyways, let's get started on this. Alright, this is our pod. We're going to be landing pretty soon. So you can see the region where we're going to be in. Seems to be quite rich in materials, resources and stuff. That's good. Lots of food, I see. Let's just see who we have as, re as, as our survivors. Now, let's put it on pause. We have Connor Naras is a, um, I'm going to say an eighth, <laughs> a pacifist, so he doesn't have a gun. So it's kind of weird. He can't even defend himself at all. But Connor... He's a good little uh, combat guy, and Umir are also pretty good combat guys. He doesn't have a jacket though, which kind of annoys me. Uh, Connor has a jacket, a spaceship jacket, and a t-shirt. Mars Naras has only a t-shirt and a uh, spaceship jacket. All right, anyways, so we know this guy. He's a uh, hard-headed, uh, shoot once, ask questions <laughs> later kind of guy. Uh, shoot twice as fast with range. Well, shoot twice as fast with ranged weapons. So he's pretty good uh, at keeping everybody nice and safe. He's he's also pretty hefty. So he has uh, quite a good um, quite a good skill set for uh, for for fighting. So uh, occasionally intimidates others, making them feel uneasy. Has partial or complete ownership of the blah 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 blah. So anyways, they all have complete or partial ownership of the farm of these this land here. So they all require uh, doesn't require a wage, but aspires to own the planet. And his favorite is he plays darts. He eats everything and all foods make him reasonably happy. This doesn't have anything that actually makes him like seriously happy. And then Naras, uh, he likes playing music, so that's good. He likes to entertain other people, so that's pretty good. Naras has uh, had to work in the uranium mines of Titan from an early age and has uh, was cooled by his mothers in the evenings, blah, blah, blah. So he's, uh, he's going to be cool to keep everybody nice and happy. Then we have Umir. He's uh, agoraphobia, <laughs> has increased manipulation efficiency and happiness while inside, which are decreased outside. So he doesn't like being outside that much, which makes him perfect for crafting and for research. Has partial complete ownership, blah, 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 blah. He likes bread and relaxing in armchairs. So this guy's going to be kind of difficult to keep happy. All right, and the older owner, the, their happiness level starts at 50%. So they're not like 100% happy, which is a bit of an issue, but... Uh, in this map and in this level to keep them all happy but we'll see what we can happen what we can do now <clears throat> as usual we'll be starting the game uh, early so there won't be anything for us to to live on so we will need to uh, do research we'll need to uh, go out and expand and uh, and build 
We won't be able to build anything yet because we don't have a uh, cure plant. Ooh, that's nice. So we do already have a cure plant uh, farm. We can do that. That's, that's nice stuff to actually sell. Uh, nice material. We, I see some food over here. Oh, this is not food. This is a glowing tree. Hmm. Let's just research what that is exactly. Some plants here. We got some bananas. Some banana plant type. Like purple bananas grew on that. I also see some uh, some tubes over here. Tube plant. Nothing particular. We have some leather over here. It's nice. But, oh, and a lot of grasses. So this is pretty good for hay. Uh, and we have a whole ton of iron over here. That's also nice. Excellent. We can expand pretty fast then. Some iron over here. So now Connor likes physical. He appreciates that. He's already a pretty physical dude. He's also interested in combat. So that's good. Uh, Naras likes crafting, farming, and healing. So that's all perfect. But nobody... Okay, the Connor does have construction level 2. So that's pretty good. Everybody else has a construction level 1 only, so they can't really build much. So uh, they can't help much if we start to work on a, on a house, but we'll see what happens. Alright, this, this, this material, this stuff here doesn't give us any sticks. It's a bit of a pain. I don't see any bushes in the neighborhood. What we need to be able to build a camp, and a shelter particularly, is... Um, Either purple leaf or sticks or a lot of um, material. I also don't see any scrap anywhere near us here in the neighborhood. So that's kind of also a bit of a pain. There's no, oh, there's all the way over there, there's some scrap. And like here. They are pretty far away though. Well, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Um, got the hills over here, oh, nice and blue. And I do see. What are you? Nothing particularly. Some more scrap over there. Mm. Nothing jumps out at me. So we'll have to try and uh, collect some. Uh, this is only gives us wood. It's a bit of a pain. I need I need sticks as well. How do I? How am I gonna get sticks? I do. These are not bushes. What about you? Do you have sticks? No, it's also all wood. So we're gonna have a bit of a trouble. A bit of trouble getting uh, sticks in. I don't see any sticks anywhere. <laughs> that makes it very difficult. Ooh, is this? Why is it so glowy? Hmm, cool. Very interesting. All right, so um, first problem is no sticks. So we'll be unable to build with, uh, with a, con a conventional, conventional camp. It's going to be a little bit of trouble there. So how do we solve that issue? Now, we'll need to first, of course collect some stuff so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, select a couple of these trees for chopping so we cut those down so connor or naras will go and get those we'll need to go and uh, investigate some of the stuff so observe that that gives us leather we need to observe these things so that gives us silicon and we need to observe any kind of like a food source do we have a food source around here i'm, I'm kind of ex kind of oh, we, well we do have the purple big leaf here so we could use that for our structure. So that's uh, we should probably go and chop those down. Let's go and select a couple of these purple leaf plants. The thirteen of those. There isn't much in the region, so we'll have to keep an eye on that uh, on that amount there. So we might probably need to just observe a couple of these. Observe a couple of you. Yes, exactly. And if I look around, I don't see much in the way of food. So that's going to be a bit of a tricky thing. So let's see if we can find something that we can. We can eat, because otherwise we'll be stuck here with the uh, <laughs> with only rations, emergency rations, which isn't really that great. So let's see. We have some more purple, um, red leaf over here. I'm just, I'm just looking around. I don't see anything particularly rich in food. Hmm. All right, we'll need to look into that. See if we can get some food somewhere. Otherwise, we're going to have to have a very specific diet. Going to eat these little piggies. We also have to observe them. Let's make sure that they are also good. And we have to chop a couple of these down. Uh, get some more. You know, it's the giant grass and stuff. I'd get some hay from that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Hmm. Why do we not have any food? I'm kind of concerned about that. We also need to observe this stuff. All right. Now the the winters in this region are kind of nasty um, so we'll have to keep uh, we have to get 
at least uh, keep an eye on our on our clothing and get us ready for the summers, which are also kind of nasty, and the, particularly the winters, which are potentially kind of <laughs> deadly. All right, so let's get started. Let's let's put a camp down. Let's put it on one, so they can go and do their thing. So they kind of uh, Connor is going to go and cut some grasses. Naras is going to cut the the trees down, and Amir is going to go and uh, check out this leather plant over here, which is great. I'm just looking around. Maybe perhaps what are you? You're a doggy. Uh, we already had doggies in the series before. I'm just going to leave those out of it for now. I'm looking for a proper food source that we can actually that we can that we can potentially grow and um, and use as a food source now we don't have to put a camp over here we can put camp down here for instance in this, in this valley uh, so we're closer to everything else we can also move a little bit closer to for instance um, this region over here where we have a lot of iron uh, we can also put a camp over here if we wanted to um, do I want to I'm, I'm kind of concerned there isn't much in the way of food but uh, we also need some space. Uh, let's see. We can, of course, check out the banana trees. But th there's a, a significant lack of uh, fruits and vegetables in this region. That's, uh, yeah, so maybe, maybe the banana plants might be worth something. But they're nowhere near ready to be harvested yet. It's going to be a bit of an issue. Um... I also don't see any any particular type of grasses. So no, no wheat, no grain, and that's not good. <laughs> I just keep it at that. That's definitely not good. So we'll probably have to use like stone and stuff like that to keep uh, to to build everything. Now we can, of course, get technologies and stuff. Oh, hey, here's some grasses. Let's go and get somebody. Let's go send Amir here to research and study this stuff. So we need to get that observed. So good. That, that's, that's not that far away from our camp here. We, well, it's not necessarily camp, but this, this, the, the trading pod is important. We want to keep that uh, close by. We can um, initiate trade and contact and stuff right, with another ship. Uh, but we don't have. That, that still does cost us quite a bit of uh, of of fuel so oh and we also have melons over here let's go observe them so we have some melons excellent we have some fuel over here i'm kind of wondering so we have two regions we have over here we have a lot of uh crash ships and we have over here a lot of this blue kind of stuff and a lot of rock we have some more rocks there we can also just build a quite a nice significant factor uh, kind of like a camp with the uh, with uh, with rocks around us that will also help and then we have a quite a lot of iron ore interesting rocks uh, spread out around here i'm not quite sure what kind of animals these are they seem uh, like a combination or a split between a dog and a pig <laughs> all right let's see what we can do let's make sure that we stay close to the uh, trading pod we don't want to go too far He's observing the twisted plant. All right. Now, in the meantime, while we're getting some more materials, we have some wood, we have some sticks, we have some purple leaf, we have some hay. All good. Let's go ahead and put down a cap. I need a shelter. I want a shelter uh, right here. Still a bit, a bit far away from the uh, the trading pod, uh, but close enough to everything else. I mean, we we're, we're going to be hunting these guys. That's for sure. Uh, so let's go get, put a camp there. We want another one of these shelters just so the back. Boom. And then potentially another one on this side. Uh, we'll wait until we have enough materials. That's probably a good good idea. Let's go put some purple leaf clothing. Uh, this is dedicated. Purple leaf. In dedicated place for sleep. Not especially comfortable. Not especially comfortable. It's not really comfortable, but I don't really want them to be comfortable at the moment. <laughs> this is not meant to be comfortable. Right, it's just meant to be um, so they can rest. Beautiful. All right, let's see what else we need. We need to have a campfire. That means we need to have some stone. Let's go ahead and mine all this stone up. And Omer, what are you doing? You're still just, just checking that out, right? Naras, what are you doing? Constructing shelter. 
Excellent. Connor, what are you doing? You're constructing, you're transporting some materials and stuff. At, perfect. So we'll have that coming up here pretty quickly. Uh, Connor, are you puking already? What did you eat? Yeah, he probably ate something he's not supposed to. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's really not happy about that. All right. So Narasa is constructing the shelter. Perfect. We'll get some rocks in here. We'll get Connor to mine these rocks eventually. Once he's, uh, yeah, he gave up on the rock, on the, on the sticks. He just, he just left them there. Um, well, we'll see what happens. And we'll get uh, Omir, Omir here to, uh, to research these, uh, these melons as soon as possible so we can start farming. Now, who is our farmer? That was going to be Naras, right? Naras is the farmer. Connor doesn't help, doesn't give a shit about farming. Uh, Omir doesn't give a shit about it. So it's mostly be uh, Naras that'll be farming. Uh, which will be fine. I want to have a... I can't make it from sticks, can I? Hmm. Can I put a fence, a stone fence? I need some stone. Perfect. I need some stone that goes all the way around, or well, mostly around my camp. So... Let's give us a little bit of space. Like that much. That'd be perfect. And there, all the way around. Perfect. And we'll put a, a gate in here as well. Just, should we put go for poles or should we go for... Hmm, we do have quite a bit of wood coming in, so... I mean, yeah, there's a lot of trees here we can chop up, so I'm kind of wondering. I don't want to carbon, carbon fence is kind of like ridiculous. We can go for the small little fence doors, these ones, uh, all the way around. So one there, for instance, and one on this side, and then one over on this side. And then on this side here, oh actually, let's just cancel that one, let's just cancel that one. Let's put a proper big fence on this side like so perfect and actually 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 let's just cancel that because it doesn't there, there isn't there isn't that much space on that side i want i want it on this side yeah let's just cancel that uh skin bark and it's raining oh bloody hell so okay let's uh let's get started with observe the squash <laughs> we got some more furniture we made a bed we got uh skin bark coming in skin bark is good for leather we don't need any leather at the moment because we don't have the uh, materials yet to do that kind of stuff or to do anything in the uh, region of leather but uh, we'll get that to, uh, to that later in the game let's also put that there defenses fence gate fence door i want a pole there and i want a let's cancel you and i want a gate pole gate on this side the reason why I want it on this side and in the middle here is that once we do the research, I want a tower there and a tower there, or right next to the gate actually. Um, new research, veggie armor. Okay, cool. We got some veggie armor to make. <laughs> once we have, of course, a proper shelter up, we'll go and do that. What do we need? Oh, we need a lot more sticks. That's what we need. Where are you going? You're going to go get some more hay? All right, excellent. Connor is eating. I need them. I need them to get me more shelters. That's what I need. Uh, let's put another shelter over there. And then another shelter on this side. Wait, that's the wrong side. It's closed off. I don't want that or that way. Let's put it, let's turn it around. Boom, like so. All right, we got some sticks. We got some uh, purple leaf coming in. You'll be fine. We don't have much in the way of food. So I desperately need to get a campfire up and running. So let's go ahead and put a stone campfire here. And uh, we'll probably have to go and do some hunting. I also want to get this observed. It's probably for tea. I think this is for tea. I also need to have this material here, this bright leaf. Uh, it's, it's basically like a cotton. It needs to be observed as well. And of course, the uh, peculiar palms need to be observed. But as soon as we have some time, I'm going to send Amir down to observe that um, this plant over here, this grain, this crop. It looks like a bit like uh, like corn. Yeah, this corn crop. So we can start that planting period as soon as possible, because we need we're going to need that for winter. Winter is are harsh and they prevent anything from growing. Uh, so we want to have uh, as much food in the in our uh, 
you know, storage as possible. Let's go put some storage down. Storage talk pile. Uh, right around here. Boom. Just four will be fine for now. They will eventually be covered. Right now they're not because, well, we don't have a shelter yet. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, let's put a, a another camp. I think I want this one to have a purple leaf. I just want to see how that looks. Put it right there. And another shelter right across from it like so. Well, we're going to need a lot of this shelter because we're going to do a lot of um, research and craft things like production. Like the workbench and so on. We're going to build that all and put that underneath these uh, these shelters so that everybody stays nice and dry. All right, excellent. We have 176 stone. So this fence should be fine. Oh, Omir is almost already <laughs> getting a bit of unhappy. Agrophobia. Oh, no. You're not very happy, are you? All right, let's just get you back to eat something. I need him to start looking uh, at working in here somewhere. Agrophobia is not a good thing to have. Are you eating all the way out there? Because we are in the kind of like the great outdoors and uh, this is the worst place for him to be in the worst situation once we have a uh, an actual house and a camp set up and so on he'll do most of the research because he's pretty good at that right so intellect is like six that's uh, that's perfect for uh, for research and for uh, observations um but he's gonna be doing that inside not outside i need more i think i need more wood i think i need more wood now we don't have the ability yet to do um, any kind of science because we don't have a science desk yet let's go ahead and put it down right there insufficient materials we have to need some more wood uh, so we need to chop down a couple more of these trees no big deal let's go ahead and select these guys farm, farm palms or five palms over there and that will give us um, all the wood we need for that let's also just check where Naras is no he's right here <laughs> I completely didn't see him there all right, let's see how much, what kind of food do we have? We only have liquid fuel. We have nothing collected yet. So we still have to research, I mean, observe these melons. We do have the cure plant that we can put down. But I need Naras, I need Naras for other things at the moment, not for farming yet. I need him to help with the construction of everything. Let's speed it up a bit so that we can get these shelters up and running. Oh soaking wet yeah i know it's it's nasty i know i know but we'll get we'll get that done soon enough everybody can help with the class with the building which is also quite nice connor's got risk of a meltdown it's kind of annoying what do you need you need acute you have acute pain oh he has a migraine right behind his face vision impaired ah oh, poor guy but i don't see him getting close to a a complete burnout yet he's going to be unhappy yes but uh so see, Naras, for instance, he, his unhappiness only happens when he gets really, he gets into a burnout. Otherwise, he's he's pretty uh, euphoric, so that's good. And you're getting well fed. All right, that's not going to stay long, though. Uh, we need to go and check out some other things. What's Amir doing? How is your happiness level? Your happiness level is okay. You're, you're staying inside a shelter. That's why your happiness is good. Eight at one foot. I'm poor and drowsy. <laughs> they, they were all poor at the moment. <laughs> they only have 15,000 galactic credits. So they are black coins. So we, we desperately need to go and start looking into uh, making some more. At the moment, we have nothing to trade. So there won't be anything to, to sell. But these plants over here, these leather skin, skin bark and stuff like that, are good trade materials. So we can go and harvest them and uh, bring them back uh, and sell them all using our uh, trade pod. Which will be fine. And that will give us a lot of money if we if we do it properly. At least, That's if we uh, if we go through this properly, so let's go ahead and observe the squash plant here. Let's make sure that he doesn't go and do anything weird. I need him to get us food. I need to start looking into getting the planting stuff done as soon as possible. I need Connor to finish. Are you eating the plant? <laughs> Are you eating that plant? He's eating from this little bowl, the emergency rations and stuff. I also need to make sure that they don't eat anything weird. So no raw food no raw food and definitely no raw food only cooked foods so emergency rations for now um we don't i don't see any well th these are f supposed to be fruit trees here right so that will give us bananas in the future mm, or was it 
these plants. Uh, I'm gonna have to check it out. What, what, which, which one's which? This is all just a little bit new. Uh, it's a it's a nice looking map. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good stuff. All right, Connor, finish that fence. Perfect. Now, once the fence is done, we'll get Connor to uh, to do most of the work, and we'll get Naras going on planting on farming. <coughs> Connor will be doing the uh, the main uh, gathering, and Naras will be working on the farm, getting us ready for winter, and getting as much of the materials that we need to survive. Because winters are, are kind of long, so we desperately need that to con just <laughs> to work out. <coughs> All right, let's go get some more stone. And we only have one here. Oh, we still have some stone. Okay, good. It doesn't need that much more. This will be a small little fence. It will keep the uh, the main bugs out. And once we have this structure here finished, we'll add another layer of um, like a oh, discovered butter melon. Beautiful. All right, let's see, Amir, how is your happiness level? Are you close to crying yet? Yeah, he's a level 20. Agoraphobia, eight on foot. He has to eat first. Let him eat, and then we'll move him over there to go check out that grain crop. And then hopefully that will give us a, a permanent uh, food source that uh, it's gonna. What are you doing? You're gonna go chop something up? Oh, he's getting some wood. All right. Get all the wood you need. Thank you very much. So we'll get that those fences done, and then we'll move Amir over there to research the. Uh, I don't want you to observe that. That's kind of pointless at the moment. I don't need any silicon. I need you all the way over here. This is pretty far away, so this is this is gonna take him a while. Hopefully he'll uh, he'll he'll be able to do that reasonably fast. All right. There we go. We have our camp set up. Perfect. Now the trade pod should be fine. They don't usually attack it. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, excellent. We got our first work table done. Workbench. Let's see. We need to have... Um, what do we have? We have no... We have long-range sniper rifles. Everybody except for Naras. Uh, they, we all have, they all have uh, sniper rifles. We just don't have any close-range fighting tools. So we will need to uh, construct that. So we can only at the moment craft bandages, animal fat, slop, and veggie leather, right? Uh, and trade goods. This is trade goods is actually what we need to start producing a lot of to start getting a lot of money in. We need to go from 15,000 to a million and a million each. So three million in total. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, a lengthy process, but it's, it's uh, it, we'll, we'll manage, don't worry. Um, staying alive is more important at the moment. So, opportunity, human enhancement, nanobot booster shot. Hey, listen, I just happened to have a, ha just happened to have a handy little thing, a nanobot booster shot. When injected, those nanites, or whatever increase, the host movement, manipulation, and health. Ain't they handy? Now, before you say anything, it's not a permanent modification. The little things dissolve in a matter of days and leave no trace. But they do cause some pain in the meantime, but come on, it's totally worth it. You already have pain, man. Uh, let's share it with everybody. Effects will last for five days. Get rid of that thing. Uh, it's not needed here. Okay, you know what? I need it. Um, okay, use the shot. It will last for 10 days. Uh, let's share it with everybody. Let's get everybody's health like a bit lower. <laughs> everybody now has a little bit of pain. Right? Yeah, nanites. Uh, in the brains. But uh, all of their uh, their skill levels have, have are now should be uh, a bit more powerful so they should be able to do things a lot faster so amir should be observing this plant significantly faster he is still very unhappy his, his mood has gone down to yeah i think about like 15 percent so he's, he's gonna, he still has some time before he has to do that kind of stuff and do anything about it um so he'll be fine let's see do we have anything to scavenge there is a scavenge opportunity right there it's still pretty far away if we get attacked We'll have to run back pretty fast. I don't see any other scavenge opportunity. What's this? This is a rock. Okay. Um, we'll probably need to go and scavenge this piece. These other three pieces over here seem okay, but this one's the closest, I think. Let's set it up for scavenge. Now, I don't know who's who's pretty good at scavenging. Intellect, uh, healing. Let's see, Connor is the most physical, so he can he can handle the most physical jobs. Nares also doesn't manage physical stuff. Healing is, yeah, he's our healer. Uh, intellect, yeah, he's our thinker. Nares is sleeping. Good. Connor, what are you doing? 
You're going to sleep. Amir, shouldn't you go to sleep? How is, how is your happiness? Your happiness is pretty low. He's, he's agoraphobic. He's moderate pain. He's tired. Eight on foot. Let's just draft him and bring him back home. We'll get him. Yeah, I know. He's a risk of meltdown. I know, I know. We'll get him back to... Um, Oh, you're going to go start the, the research desk? That's a bit strange. Why would you do that? Hmm. We'll get him back to observing that plant in a bit. All right. Now, we have the farming opportunity. So, buttermelon is pretty good. Let's go ahead. And I want a... I don't want them... I don't want anything in front of this fence. Uh, directly in front. So, nothing here. So, we can plant something on this side. I will... We'll probably have to expand the colony, the village and so on. Um, I mean, the camp in this direction around this outcropping uh, we won't be moving anytime anywhere anytime soon so there's no need for that but i will probably need a lot of buttermelon so i'm going to have a large area for buttermelon and then we'll do uh, we'll probably have another field somewhere over here probably it's just just in this range not not directly in front but somewhere over here where we can have uh our green crop going but uh, oh hello in scavenging, I know, I know. Close all that. It's all good. We'll get to that scavenging in a bit. 